What's up TPSers? We're doing a huge giveaway. We're giving away a $100 gift card of your choice. It could be to anywhere. GameStop, Amazon, Best Buy, wherever you guys want. Step one, this video needs to get 2,500 likes. 2,500 likes. Step two, comment down below something you like about TPS. We're gonna pick a random comment in the comment section and then announce them on our Instagram and our Twitter pages. So make sure you follow them as well. Good luck TPSers. What is up, TPS? You're probably wondering, who's this guy? Well, I'm Joe Biondo, Jason's older brother, and I'll be popping in here and there, filming and writing for you guys. I'm psyched to be a part of the TPS Team Egg community. This really is one of the best sports channels out there, so I'm honored to be here, and I'm excited to be a part of a channel that brings you quality sports content on a daily basis. Video one. Let's go. There have been a lot of great plays in Super Bowl history, so it's difficult, maybe even impossible, to say that one play is the greatest. However, it's not all that hard to make a short list of possible candidates. There's Malcolm Butler's game-saving interception in Super Bowl 49, Mike Jones's game-saving tackle in Super Bowl 43, Santonio Holmes' toe-tap touchdown in Super Bowl 43, John Elway's desperation helicopter dive in Super Bowl 32, Lynn Swan's levitating leap in Super Bowl 10, Julian Edelman's miracle catch in Super Bowl 51, and of course, there's the helmet catch in Super Bowl 42 which obviously is what we're going to talk about today. For those of you who, I don't know, are new to football, the helmet catch was an absolutely bonkers circus catch by New York Giants wide receiver David Tyree, with just over a minute left to play in Super Bowl 42. Not only did this clutch reception help the Giants win the game, it also, and this is the most important part for the people that don't like the New England Patriots, which I think is pretty much everybody outside of New England, it also ruined what would have been, but was not, the greatest, most dominant season in the history of the National Football League. Of course, what made this helmet catch so great was not just that it was incredibly difficult to pull off or that it wiped so many smug smiles off so many New England faces. It was also the fact that David Tyree was not a star player at all. He was not the Giants go-to guy. He was a backup, replacement. He was the unlikeliest of heroes. The fact that David Tyree figures so prominently in NFL history is just one of the great flukes in pro sports. It's like five foot six inch David Eckstein being named MVP of the 2006 World Series after outslugging Albert Pujols. Or Andre Iguodala being named MVP of the 2015 NBA Finals after not starting a single game during the regular season. It's not like David Tyree became a star after the helmet catch either. Super Bowl 42 was not his coming out party. After all the parades and celebrations and interviews, David Tyree just kind of faded away. So where is he now? We'll get into that in a few minutes. First, let's take a closer look at the play that made him famous. What you first have to understand is that heading into Super Bowl 42, the only thing that anybody was talking about was the New England Patriots quest for the second perfect season in NFL history. Tom Brady and company absolutely steamrolled the league in 2000. They went 16-0 during the regular season, outscoring opponents by an average of 19.7 points per game. Brady threw for 4,806 yards and 50 touchdowns. That was a new single season record. The Pats juggernaut didn't show any signs of slowing down during the playoffs either. They beat the Jaguars 31-20 in the divisional round. And they beat the Chargers 21-12 in the AFC title game. The Patriots were 12-point favorites over the New York Giants heading into the big game. And rightfully so, because on paper, the Giants were nothing special. They started the 2007 season over and two, which was bad. And they won six in a row, which was good. But then they went four and four over their last eight games, including one and two over their last three, finishing the season 10 and six, which was pretty like meh. Eli Manning threw for a respectable 3,336 yards and 23 touchdowns in 2007. But he also threw 20 interceptions and fumbled the ball 13 times, with nine resulting in turnovers. So in total he had, let's see, 20 interceptions plus nine unrecovered fumbles minus 23 touchdowns. That's six more turnovers than touchdowns. Manning played well in the Giants' first three playoff games, throwing four touchdowns and zero interceptions, earning huge upset wins over the Cowboys and Packers. But nobody thought Eli could lead the Giants to a victory over the mighty Patriots. The Patriots had the most wins of any team to ever play in the Super Bowl. The Giants had the fewest wins of any team to ever play in the Super Bowl. The narrative is clear. Super Bowl 42 is about ripping the greatest team of all time crown away from the 1972 Dolphins and giving it to the 2007 Patriots. But of course, things didn't quite work out like they were supposed to once the game actually started. The Patriots took a puny 7-3 lead into halftime and were outgained by the Giants 121 yards to 86. Then after a scoreless third quarter, things got even worse for the mighty Pats.
Pats in the fourth. With just over 11 minutes left in the game, Eli Manning hit not Plaxico Burst, but David Tyree with a five yard touchdown pass to make it 10 7 Giants. At that point, most fans were watching at home like, ah, who the hell is David Tyree? And their confusion was not unfounded. The Giants drafted David Tyree out of Syracuse in the sixth round, 211th overall in the 2003 NFL draft. In his first four years in the league, he averaged 23 targets, 16 receptions, 154 yards, and one touchdown per season. Tyree made the Pro Bowl in 2005 as a special teams player, but as a wide receiver, he was way, way, way down on the Giants' depth chart. In 2007, David Tyree was targeted just five times in 12 games, making four receptions for 35 yards and zero touchdowns. 11 different Giants players were targeted more times than David Tyree in 2007. 11 different Giants players had more receptions than David Tyree in 2007. 11 different Giants players had more receiving yards than David Tyree in 2007. And yet in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 42, there was David Tyree catching a touchdown pass to give the Giants the lead over what was supposed to be the greatest team of all time. The Patriots retook the lead 14-10 on a touchdown pass from Tom Brady to Randy Moss with just two minutes and 45 seconds left in the game. After the ensuing kickoff, the Giants got the ball in their own 17 with two minutes and 39 seconds left on the clock. Eight plays later, they found themselves on the 44-yard line with a third and five with just one minute and 15 seconds left on the clock. Things were not looking good. Eli Manning lined up in the shotgun formation and took that snap on third and five, but he couldn't find anyone open and was quickly engulfed by the New England pass rushers. As you may know, Eli Manning is not one of those newfangled mobile quarterbacks. It looked for sure like he was going to get sacked for a big loss, which almost certainly would have sealed the historic win for the Pats. But then it happened. Somehow, Eli Manning managed to escape the clutches of the Patriots pass rushers. He then dropped back, surveyed his options, and hurled a 42 desperation bomb down the middle of the field. And the only receiver that was even remotely open, David Tyree. Manning's pass was high, so David Tyree had to leap into the air over the Patriots safety Rodney Harrison. Initially, Tyree was able to get both hands on the ball. However, Harrison was all over him, doing anything he could to get the ball out of his hands before he hit the ground. As a result, Tyree lost his grip on the ball and had to press it against his helmet to maintain control. It was bananas. Nine times out of 10, maybe 99 times out of 100, a player won't maintain possession of the ball in a play like that. But this was the one time it worked. Thanks to Tyree's helmet catch, the Giants now had a first down on the New England 24. Four plays later, Eli Manning connected with Plaxico Burris for a 13-yard touchdown pass with 39 seconds left in the game. Tom Brady got the ball back on his own 26-yard line with 29 seconds left on the clock, but not even he could do anything with that. The Patriots dream of a perfect season had officially turned into a nightmare. Thanks to the Helmet Cats, the New York Giants had pulled off the greatest Super Bowl upset of all time. In the days after Super Bowl 42, David Tyree went from an NFL nobody to a New York Giants legend. Eli Manning was named Super Bowl MVP, but David Tyree was the real hero. He was all over the media. Late night talk shows, midday talk shows, sports radio talk shows. Everybody wanted to talk to David Tyree about the helmet catch, which ESPN Sports Center had already appointed the greatest Super Bowl play of all time. But amazingly and sadly, the helmet catch was not a coming out party for the 27 year old David Tyree. It was a swan song. Tyree missed the entire 2008 season after injuring his knee during training camp. The following year, at the age of 29, Tyree was cut by the Giants right before the start of the regular season. A month later, Later, Tyree signed with the Baltimore Ravens and he eventually appeared in 10 games during the 2009 NFL season, but he didn't record a single reception. The following July, Tyree signed a one-day contract with the Giants and officially announced his retirement. The helmet catch wasn't just Tyree's greatest catch, it was also his last catch. So what has David Tyree been up to since retiring from the NFL at the relatively young age of 29? At first, Tyree, a born-again Christian and father of seven children with wife Layla, didn't know what to do with all his free time. He tried a few things, got a few different jobs with friends, but for the first three years of his post NFL NFL life, he felt completely lost. Having nothing better to do with his time, Tyree decided to wade into controversial waters in 2011, denouncing same-sex marriage as anarchy in a video for the National Organization for Marriage. He later doubled down on these comments, saying he doesn't believe anybody is actually born gay, and that he would trade his famous helmet catch to prevent same-sex marriage from becoming legal. Thankfully, in 2012, Tyree received a phone call that put him on a new, less controversial path. It was an invitation to attend a seminar on career transitions. At that seminar, Tyree was introduced to former Eagles safety Troy Vincent, who offered Tyree a part-time gig in the NFL's Office of Player Engagement. Two years later, in 2014, a job opened up in the Giants organization, Director of Player Development. Tyree interviewed for the gig, and after reassuring the team that his views on homosexuality and same-sex marriage had become more moderate, and that he would support a gay player 100%, Tyree got the job. David Tyree, who made the most famous catch in Giants history, a catch he says was the result of divine providence, was once again an employee of the Giants. And that's where he's been ever since. All right, wow. First one in the books, how'd I do? That was awful.
Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. I have a quick favor to ask of you guys. When we post a video a month from now and I'm in it and there's a hundred comments asking who the hell is this guy, please reply to it and tell them who I am. I'm Jason's brother. I'm writing. I'm filming. I'm here on a part-time basis. I really do appreciate it. What do you think about David Tyree's story? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to follow myself and Total Pro Sports on social media. We post great content every day. I love to talk sports, so ask me a question, tweet me. I'll probably respond to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. The like button's right there. Give it a click. Give it a little click. Clicky click. If this is your first time around TPS, make sure you subscribe to us. We post great content, great sport videos every day. So make sure you hit that red button below. Until next time, I'm Joe Biondo. Thanks for watching. It was bananas. We're not saying that. Bananas is funny. I guess. It was bananas. But of course, things didn't work out. But of course, things didn't quite work out. Uh, but of <sighs> At that seminar, Tyree was introduced to formal to give the Giants a lead. Thank you. Why was I like you? David Tyree, who moved, who, and were out and were out gained and were out gained by the Giants, 120. Come on, bro. Come on. Give, give, give. I can't fucking read. <laughs> <laughs> and giving it to two, and giving it to the 2007 Patriots. <laughs> yeah. <I'm laughs> you got last name. <laughs> Like? Where's the like button? Right there. Check it out. Right there. Yeah, click That's the like it. Button. <laughs> Should be right, 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 there. right there. Right above my nipple. The like button's right there. <laughs> right here. Smash that like button. Well, why are you going like this? Like, I'm holding the like button. <laughs> the like button's below. Even if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. The like button's right down here. Just give us a little clickety click, a little clickety click, a little smash on the like button. I really, you know, we really do appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> Improv, have fun. Just like, I know, this is me improving, it's not funny. <laughs> what was I saying? Until Joe, until I saw him beyond I couldn't remember the first part. This is gonna be really awkward. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. The like button's right here. Click it! <laughs> not usable? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it, I, I, my, my tone was like pivot from friends. Pivot. <laughs> pivot. <laughs>